In order to facilitate communication between network devices, these devices need IP addresses. DHCP servers assign IP addresses to connected devices and enable you to have a networked environment well equipped for interaction between your devices on the network. Oftentimes your router will serve as the DHCP server for your network, but actually a QNAP NAS can be used as a DHCP server as well. In fact, as long as you have at least two Ethernet ports, you could have your QNAP connected as a client on one network with one port, and with the other port, plug into a switch and create a separate subnet. In this tutorial, we will set up the QNAP NAS as a DHCP server. Start by opening Network and Virtual Switch, and on the left side tab, select DHCP server. Next, click the add button. You'll see a DHCP server window open. Keep in mind that the Ethernet port that you intend on using to create your network with will need to be plugged into something like, say, a switch before it appears as an adapter in this window. There are two adapters available in my window which correlate to the two Ethernet ports I have on my NAS. In my case, adapter 1 is already a DHCP client and is connected to the main network for the office and has been assigned its IP address from the office router. So in this instance, I'm just going to select adapter 2 as this is not connected to any other networks. You're going to want to set up your DHCP server with a static IP address as I've given adapter 2. When you have selected the appropriate adapter, click Next. On the next page, you will choose between enabling the DHCP server on the current network or on another subnet. If I were to choose to enable it on the current network, I would potentially disturb the network because there's already a DHCP server on it. So I will select to create a new subnet. The next page is where you can select the range of IP addresses to be assigned, the subnet mask, and the default gateway, among other things. When you have your settings as you would like them, click Apply. Now, in the overview, you can see that Adapter 2 is set as a DHCP server. DHCP functionality enables you to create a network using just your QNAP, a switch, and some Ethernet cables. Be sure to check out the rest of our videos to better utilize your QNAP NAS.